In April 29th, Department of Corrections officer Vicki White broke out inmate Casey White. She's 56, he's 38, they have a love quarrel. He's an inmate, he's in there for murder, hostage, all this stuff. Back in the day, beat up his brother with the blunt side of an axe, this guy. 2015 went over to his ex-girlfriend's house he held her and her roommate as hostage he killed her fucking dog he went over to a neighbor's house he was like yo give me some money yo i don't have any money okay cool i will take your car he steals his ford explorer he goes out he finds another lady he shoots her he steals her car like this is crazy he's crazy so while he's in jail he writes a letter he's like yo back in the day i killed connie ridgeway who was like 58 yeah i stabbed her to death uh why did i do it it's because somebody hired me so that's why he was in jail he was actually convicted of all that stuff that i had just said before he was convicted seven 75 years in prison so he was never gonna get out he didn't care anymore he just wanted the truth to be out at that point which i guess is okay of him kind of he's still a terrible human being it just is what it is vicky white broke this monster out to his ex-girlfriend who he held hostage he told her if he ever got out i'm going to kill you and she found out she was like yep I'm going into hiding. And so she just left, she went off the map. She told Vicky, you need to get away from him because uh, if you're caught with him, he will kill you. Like that will happen. He is very dangerous. This guy is six foot nine. He's like a tall tree. You cannot miss him. And he's just a monster. He's just unbelievably a violent, monstrous person. Vicky White saw something in him. I don't know, but she was on her way out. She was about to retire. She was about to go to Florida. She was about to get some Mai Tais, drink, have some amazing times on the beach. I was going to say something else, but that's not YouTube friendly. It's not YouTube monetizable either. So yeah, she was going to have all this stuff literally the day she was going to retire. She grabs Casey. She's like, yeah, he's scheduled for a mental health evaluation. I'm going to take him to that. And then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and get myself checked out the doctor as well. It's going to be another doctor. But yeah, that's basically what's going to happen. Put him in the car and then she drove off and she was away for six hours. Now, there should have been a whole lot of red flags before this happened because apparently there needs to be like two people when escorting inmates, especially inmates of that degree. I mean, come on. On, but it is what it is that's what happened six hours later they didn't know where they were vicky white she sold her house for like 40 percent of its value she only got like 90 grand literally less than half in this housing market are you serious she's living with her mother she was divorced from her older husband who had died of parkinson's who she cared for for like 15 years after they divorced it just shows how loving of a person she is on her way to get the fifth employee of a month like she was the exemplary employee people were just giving her praise on top of praise on top of praise and she does this they were just dumbfounded when this entire thing happened so a few days before she breaks casey white out she buys an orange 2007 ford edge under a false name an ar-15 a shotgun men's clothes even some adult toys really just planning out every step of this thing and she got pretty far this guy casey white though he was a complete savage he was a total monster one of his ex-girlfriends Christy Shelton, she died with a hole in her chest, a shotgun hole in her chest. It was an apparent suicide, that's what they're calling it. But I mean, it's kind of hard to believe that. Casey was home at the time, it's not adding up, right? So she's with this guy on this 10 day manhunt. Nobody knows where they're at. They're really trying to figure out things. They're trying to track down their movements. That's a crazy time. So we don't know exactly what they did everywhere, but we do have a rough idea of what happened. So. This is the story. First, they drove to Florence Square in Alabama. They switched cars. She was in the cop car. So obviously, they had to get out of that car and get into another car. That orange 2007 Ford Edge. They just went straight to that car, switched cars, and started driving. But they didn't make it really far because that car apparently had a lot of problems and she did not get it checked out of the mechanic because it broke down. So a few days in, a tow truck driver finds that same truck that they had escaped in. And he's like, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been here in Bethesda since the first day of the manhunt. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. And so everybody's like, what the heck? What are they in now? What's going on now? Little did everybody know on the fourth day, they would be spotted at a car wash in Evansville, Indiana, which was three hours from Bethesda. Apparently they purchased a car from another seller for about six grand. And then they left it at a car wash and stole another truck. I don't know why they left it at a car wash at that point. I mean, I would have probably just did something else, but maybe 
they were just unsure of that car and they were like it's better if we just steal a car but that ended up being their downfall because they ended up going to a motel they decided not to leave for some reason they paid a homeless guy to book the motel so nobody knew they were there for about a good week they were just living they were sitting pretty they didn't have any worries until a cop comes in he runs the plates and then he finds out uh yeah so this plate belongs to the stolen vehicle and hmm yeah let's stake out this place so at this motel 41 in evansville indiana the police are staking it out they're waiting for something to happen and then oh my god Vicky and Casey, they walk out, they get into the car, and then they start driving around 6 p.m. The cops are like, bet. They follow them, and then there's a small chase. Vicky and Casey are tripping balls. They have a bunch of guns in the car. I'm not going to show you the guns because I will get them monetized. $19,000 in cash. They started with 90 grand, so yeah. The money dwindled really fast. It's apparent that they did not expect that they were going to go through so much trouble, but that's what happened. So they got ran off the road by a police truck. Vicky White, she actually ended up calling the police. She didn't call the police to like apologize or anything Thing like that or talk to them actually i think it was more of a butt dial because she doesn't talk to them at all the cops are like she has a gun in her hand and then she like basically domes herself like she kills herself probably because she just was like i'm not built for his prison life everybody's gonna convict me my life is pretty much over i mean yeah it is what it is i'm out and so she just clocks out casey white ends up getting arrested he's calling vicky his wife i mean i know that they both have the same last name but they weren't married you know so now that's happening he's actually ordered to give a dna test i guess for further testing and stuff to see what was what i mean the general consensus is that she had killed herself and there's not really too much rumors saying that casey did it what are you gonna say what are you gonna do when stuff like that happens you know what are you gonna do when the cops come for you bad boys bad boys what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when they come for you? What do you guys think? Put it down below in the comments and uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be trying to upload more. I know I haven't been uploading as much. It's because I have um, been doing like Uber Eats and DoorDash and all that stuff, Grubhub, for some extra dough so I can pay my bills, keep the lights on, keep that light on specifically because that light is very very expensive it costs me like 200 dollars every day but yes please like and subscribe if you guys haven't if you guys um if you guys haven't if you guys haven't this has been getting kenshin if you guys happen to like this video please like the video down below if you guys happen to dislike this video please share it to one of your most hated enemies maybe they will like it as always this has been getting kenshin thank you guys for watching and peace